Why is that important? Why does that matter right now? Why is that such a big deal that I'm making this video for you? <laughs> I'll tell you why. Because in the situation that we're in, and the situation that you're in, Mauro, and believe it or not, Magali, the situation that we're all in, including you, it doesn't matter where we are in our lives. We need to remember that Jesus died on the cross for us for a reason. He died on the cross for us to save us from our sins. He didn't come to the earth just so that he could die and rise again and then go back. And, and I mean, there was a purpose for it. And he told us about it throughout the entire Bible. You know, it says Jesus died on the cross for us to take away the sins of the earth so that we would have the free gift of everlasting life. He did not die without any reason. The book of Romans tells us that as the scripture says, no one is righteous, not even one. For everyone has sinned, and we all fall short of God's glorious standard. You know, that's really important for us to remember. Because we tend to believe that just because we're good people, and we know good people, and all three of us in this case are good people. We may be good people amongst other people, but in the eyes of God, we have all sinned and fall short of the glory. He wrote that in the Bible. He let us know thousands of years ago that that was truth. Book of Romans goes on to say that the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. God showed His great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. And if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is believing in your heart that you are made right with God. And it is by confessing with your mouth that you are saved. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. This is all coming from the book of Romans. I didn't make this up. This is coming from the Bible. Romans says, Therefore, since we have been made right in God's sight by faith, we have peace with God because of what Jesus Christ our Lord has done for us. Historical fact of a man who came and died on the cross and rose again three days later. God so now there's no condemnation for those who belong to Christ Jesus. You will never have pain or suffering when you have Christ Jesus in your life. And I am convinced, book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 38 and 39, that nothing can separate us from God's love, neither death nor life, nor angels or demons, nor fears for today, nor our worries about tomorrow. Not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky or in the earth below. Indeed, nothing at all. Creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. Remember that. Remember these powerful words that come from the Bible. Not from me, not from man, not from some church. From the Bible. God's word. The entire Bible was made so that we could know God, know Jesus, know His love and mercy for, for you, Mauro, for you, Magali, for me. You have to understand that the whole thing from the beginning to the end, Genesis to Revelation, the only purpose of this Bible is that you know who God is. Jesus Christ, from the beginning to the end. But the question is, are you willing to accept that? Are you willing to ask Jesus into your life. We know that God exists. Yes, fine. Everybody knows that He exists. You know what? The Bible actually says that the demons know God and tremble before Him. But there's a difference between religion, buildings, people, tradition, you know, all of those things. There's a difference between that and going in on a Sunday and coming out on a Sunday and going back in and having a legitimate, true relationship with the God who loves you and wants you to have Him in your life, to be able to separate yourself from all of that nonsense and to actually have a relationship with someone who loves you and wants you to know Him. I want to make sure that as you lay where you are today, Mauro, and that you confirm that you have Jesus in your life, not that the God of the church, but the man, the living God, that came and died on the cross for you to show you how much He loves you. It's for all of us, every single one of us. And all you need to do is ask Him into your life. And believe it or not, it's absolutely never too late for asking Him into your life. Never. You know, I go to the story in the Bible that talks about, um, let me see if I could find it here, where 
Give me one second. There's a story in the Bible with the thieves on the cross. I hope you guys remember that story. And the thieves on the cross were very interesting men because you had two guys on the cross. I don't know if you remember that. And one of the guys, when he's up there, he looks over at Jesus. It's right here in, Je in Luke chapter 23, verse 39. And then one of the criminals who were hanging blasphemed Jesus, saying, if you're the Christ, save yourself and save us. Right then on the cross. These guys are days away from dying, just like Jesus. And he turns to him and says, hey, if you're God, save yourself. And by the way, save us too while you're at it. But the other thief answering rebuked the thief the other one so the other thief looks over at the guy that just made that comment and he says do you not even fear god seeing you are under the same condemnation he's already saying do you not fear god in other words he already knows this thief that's that's uh, arguing with the first thief's comment he says to him do you not know who this guy is he says to him, Do you not even fear God, seeing you are under the same condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds. We deserve to be up here on the cross. But this man, he's done nothing wrong. Then he said to Jesus, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus said to him, Assuredly, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Remember that verse. Remember that section in the Bible. This thief, never knowing God his entire life, never accepting him, never getting baptized, never going to do the first communion and all these other things, none of it. He's hanging on the cross. And that moment before he dies, days before, weeks before he dies, he turns to Jesus and he says, Remember me. Remember me. When you come into your kingdom, and Jesus says, Assuredly I say to you, Today you will be with me in paradise. What does that mean? That it's never too late. It is never too late to accept Jesus into your life. All you need to do is ask Him into your life. And as for you, Megali, you too can receive the gift of salvation by joining us in this simple prayer as well. I want to take this moment to ask that we, we bow our heads. And if you're willing to accept Jesus into your life right now, just bow your head. Bow your heads with me and pray this simple prayer with me if you can, please. Dear Lord, thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you for Easter, Lord. Thank you for Friday, for dying on the cross for us over 2,000 years ago, Lord. Thank you for rising from the dead and telling us by fulfilling prophecy that you died for us and rose again from the cross, that you took away all of our sins, Lord, that you delivered us away from all of that nonsense, all of that sin, Lord, that's been keeping us away from your entire lives, Lord, that foolishness that we believe in our hearts, Lord, that all we need to do is be good people, Lord, that we know, Lord, that we need you into our, in our lives, Lord. You died on the cross for a reason, Lord. And we're so grateful to have you here, Lord. And we just ask that you forgive us for our sins, Lord. Forgive us of all of our sins. Cleanse our bodies, Lord. Clean us. Wipe us clean, Lord. Pure, Lord. And accept us into your kingdom, Lord God. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, Lord. We're so grateful to have you. Thank you so much for this blessed day and for giving us a chance to be here right now and to pray this prayer, Lord. We love you and we praise you. And we thank you so much for all that you've done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, you guys. And you know what? No matter what turns out for you, Mauro, whether God cures you from this illness today, or whether He decides to take you home, just know that Jesus tells us that He has a beautiful place waiting for us in heaven. It doesn't matter if it's tomorrow that we go or if it's 20 years from now. He has a beautiful place waiting for us in heaven, for all of us, every single one of us. You know, it says, um, I'm almost done here, that John chapter 14, verse 2, it says, In my Father's house, this is Jesus talking, In my Father's house are many mansions, and if it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. 
And where I go, you know, and the way, you know. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus is promising us here in His Word. He's promising us that there is a place waiting for each and every one of us as long as we accept Him into our lives. Isn't that a beautiful thing? You don't have to do a grocery list of things. You just have to pray and believe and accept Him into your life. Today, you've made the best decision of your life, both of you. And that's to have opened your heart and your soul. And Jesus has now entered into your life and you've given up the sins of your life and that they've been wiped away clean, literally. Sounds kind of ridiculous, right? I didn't make that up. In the Bible, it tells us that Jesus wipes away our sins and never remembers them again. It's unbelievably that simple. The book of Psalms, chapter 103, verse 11 says, For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is His mercy towards those who fear Him. And as far as the east is from the west, so as far as He removed our sins from us, our transgressions, our sins, He's wiped them clean and He remembers them no more. That's amazing. And that's very powerful. God bless you both. Mauro, we love you. It doesn't matter what happens. You know that you have Christ in your life and you're going to be fine and your family's going to be fine and you're going to be there with Him whether it's tomorrow or whether it's 10 years from now. It doesn't matter. Accepting Jesus in your life is the best decision you've ever made. You too, Magali. God bless you both. May you guys find peace and joy in your newfound love for Him. Happy Easter.